Hi guys, Neil Waterhouse. This week's video is about starting your own business in 2021. So let's launch straight into it. I've been in business now for over 30 years and selling online for over 20 years. A lot's changed over the years, but the good news is it really is so much easier to start your own business today than it was back then. Many of the tools and technology that's available today simply weren't available just 12 months ago. Never before in the history of mankind has any man or woman been given the opportunity to sit at their home in their favourite chair, no matter where they are on the planet, and build a business where they are ever needing to leave the comfort of their own home, and never needing to have anyone come to their house. And you can build a full-time business using less than $100. As far as I know, mankind has never had this opportunity before. And I'll show you now, not only how you can have a business that meets not only this criteria, but also help you in your journey to see many case studies from people who have done this. Average people who have started their businesses from scratch and then built up six and seven digit businesses and beyond from scratch. And some of them are even single parents and were working full time when they started. Now, if you're looking at starting your own business, the very first thing you should do is make yourself your favorite beverage, find a nice quiet spot, and write down clearly your criteria for what you want from your business. I will share with you my criteria, but it's really important for you to document yours. We're all different. This is my criteria, but again, you know, this is my criteria and yours can be completely different and that's fine. Number one of my criteria has always been and always will be lifestyle. You know, my business is there for one thing and that is to provide me with enough cash and time to do the things in life that I love the most. You know, a good income is useless without time and likewise having a lot of spare time but having no money to do anything is again for me useless. Pretty much everything in life requires money. Saving the world or saving the whales also requires money. You know, for me a business has to be fully automated and it has to run by itself. So the next part of the criteria is to ask yourself how much money do you want to make after all expenses? Do you want a hobby sized business which makes less than the award wage? Or do you want a professional business which makes more than the award wage? Now, the next criteria for starting your own business is to follow a proven strategy which has case studies from people who have achieved the success that you want to achieve. As Anthony Robbins, Jim Rowan and every success coach in the world that I've, well, I'm aware of, they say the fastest way to success is to duplicate what is already working. Now, I'm not waving my own flag, but I've been told many times, because I've been in the industry so long, I've been, I'm a pioneer in the industry, and maybe that's true, but being a pioneer is hard work. You know, I've had the fastest success when I've been able to follow or be able to duplicate what is already working. So my advice to you is to follow a proven strategy. Don't reinvent the wheel. And that proven strategy, it doesn't have to be my proven strategy, as my criteria for a business might not suit you. The point is, once you have documented your criteria, if you want fast success, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Instead, find somebody who has already achieved the success that you want and model exactly what they do. And this modeling applies to everything in life. If you want the fastest success for anything, duplicate what is already proven and working. 30 years ago, I got my pilot's license. I didn't try to figure out how to fly a plane myself. I used an instructor. Likewise, when I wanted to learn to play tennis, again, I could you know, try to figure it all out myself, which would obviously take a lot of time. But again, I found an instructor who could play how I wanted to play, and I had them to coach me. The next part of the criteria, excuse the, uh, the noisy rooster up there. They seem to like it when I get out inside and talk, but anyway. anyway Get back on track. The next part of the criteria is to ask yourself, honestly, how much time are you willing to throw at the business? For me, I like to take standard holidays. So the business must not just run by themselves, but they also must grow all by themselves without me. 
I'm a huge fan of automation. With today's technology, it's so easy to automate businesses, especially if they're online. Today we have loads of software that can automate so many parts of businesses. And for those parts which cannot be automated using software, you know, we're blessed today that we can use low cost overseas staff, you know, from a dollar an hour, which can easily implement. Now, shut up chicken, stop you distracting me. Anyway, the next criteria is to ask yourself again, how much money are you willing to invest in a new business? If any, you don't have to. Some businesses require large capital outlay you know, for purchasing inventory. Now, others don't, as I'll show you. First of all, every single business on the planet sells something. It either sells a product or it sells a service. There's no mystery business out there that sells nothing. Every business sells a product or a service. So first, here's some hard facts. As a host and founder of the four largest eBay and Amazon groups and meetup groups in Australia, I get to see inside many businesses. I get to see inside not just my businesses, but also inside many of the other members' businesses. I get to see how much money everybody's investing purchasing products and how much money they're receiving back in profits. And here's the numbers. If you want to make, say, $1,000 profit after all expenses per week, on average, you need to invest, on average, $35,000 on inventory. If you want to make, on average, $2,000 profit per week after all expenses, it requires, on average, $70,000. Now, if you do not have that kind of cash flow or you're not willing to invest that kind of money, the good news is you don't need to. If you don't want to use your own inventory, you can use what is called in the industry virtual inventory. This is also called drop shipping. Now, I'm not going to go into drop shipping this video as I've done that many times before, but I'll put a link on the screen below if you want to know more information about drop shipping. This leads on to the next criteria, risk. If you're risk averse, only follow a proven formula which has many case studies from people who have achieved the success that you wish to achieve. And also, don't spend money on inventory that hasn't sold if you haven't done it before. The next criteria for me is the business must be able to be run remotely. When I started selling online, back when we used to live in Sydney, we ended up with our house full of products and full of staff. This is drive my wife bonkers. Today we live on a farm and we have no inventory on the property and no staff on the property. Everything is run remotely. So when we go on holidays for days, weeks or months, it makes absolutely no difference. With COVID-19, this has been a godsend. And it really is something that everybody who is starting a new business these days should take into account, as it could easily all happen again. But the good news is, if you're selling online, since COVID-19, online sales have boomed. So to cut a long story short, my background was always importing. I've been importing for over 30 years and selling those imported items through many channels, including eBay, Amazon, Google, product ads, etc. Our own independent websites. But because of the latest development in technology over the last several years, we've been moving more and more to drop shipping as it's much easier to automate, much lower risk. And with drop shipping, you get paid before you need to purchase any inventory. This is the reason that so many people and businesses have moved to the dropship model. So bottom line is, take the time to write down your criteria for what you want with starting your own business. Then find a proven step-by-step -step formula that has case studies from people who have achieved the success that you want to achieve. If you want to know more about dropshipping and or see case studies from people who have built six, seven digit dropship businesses and beyond from scratch, I'll put a link on the screen and below. I hope this video helped you with starting your own business in 2021. If you need any help scaling up your business, make sure you check out the step-by-step -step videos below. And while you're there, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the No Fluff channel that teaches how anyone can make a full-time living from their home using eBay and Amazon. Until next week, stay safe, list more, sell more. This is Neil Waterhouse.